silent manga audition is over and I can finally come outside. <laughs> no, seriously, I got a beard. I got crazy neck pain. I'm sleep deprived. Please pray for me. But while I was drawing my manga, it really highlighted a bunch of weaknesses that I have. What? It's just an ordinary crabby. Oh my goodness! School. So during this downtime, I've come up with a system that's going to allow me to tackle these weaknesses and hopefully not deal with them anymore. And what I call that system is now before I get into that, I just want to say this is not a system for people who can't complete any work. <laughs> See, I, I laugh and I make it sound funny, but if you watched the last video, you know how I feel about just doing things, just completing them, working to the end. If you do not complete work, if you're one of the people that likes to scrap projects a lot, and I've been guilty of this in the past, but you will make no progress. You don't even know how good you are. You, you don't even know your weaknesses because you've never completed a project. If you can't put your entire effort into a project, whether it's good, bad, or whatever, right? Then how are you going to know what you need to improve on? If you just like to sit there and sketch all day, like you might as well wear these, bruh. <laughs> Put these on right now, bruh. Since you like to sketch, go ahead and sketch. Go ahead. They light up too. <laughs> but I'm telling you, bruh, if you do not complete your work, then you do not even know what you're capable of. So keep that in mind before you continue this video. So the system is called 100. But Ete, what 100? We saw you make that channel. We have to know what it is. <laughs> Listen, simply put, it's just doing the same thing 100 times. Okay, but if it's that Ete, then why do we get to like watch the rest of the video? Like, can't we just do the same thing 100 times? I could have thought that myself as a year, uh, stupid. Listen, in order to get 100, right? Think of it as a game. You need points to win this game. But FA, how do I get these points? Let's take a look right here. So as you can see right here, I've got a sheet here of notes, right? In order to get points, you need a sheet of notes and a sheet of reps. As you can see, I have 10 hands here. For the sheet of notes, just write down new things that you learned. You can write as little as you want or as much as you want. It's completely up to you. Just make sure you write down something new that you learned. So one of the things I learned, for example, on my third attempt was that all bones connect to the middle piece in hands. I didn't know that. So I wrote that down in my notes. And now when I'm working on the next set of hands, I have that in mind now that the bones all reach this point. You see how I did it up here in the top right? And that's another thing that you want to make sure is that don't mind the mistakes. As long as you can tell that they're mistakes, like you see how I marked X's? then that's all you need. You just need to know what to fix next time. That's the purpose of this. Now, FA, how do I get the reps in? It varies depending on what your weakness is, but for the hands, for example, I use this website right here. I just grabbed some of the references off of it and just did quick two to three minute drawings. That's how I got the reps done, but really just find references. Do references from real life. I mean, you, you've heard that before, but really you should because everything comes from real life. So yeah, you should do that for the reps. One set of notes, one set of attempts. That's how you get 10 points. But FA, what happens once I reach 100? You're done no. <laughs> That's it. Seriously, you're telling me all I have to do is draw the same thing 100 times and now I'm Oda? Now I'm Pablo Picasso? And it's no. But what I am saying is that you'll gain way more experience just doing the thing that you wanna do anyways, right? So if you're an illustrator, if you do portraits, right? If you do manga, you would get way more experience just doing the thing you're actually gonna spend most of your time doing versus endlessly practicing for it. I can't tell you how many times I've seen people be like, yeah, I'll start working on what I want to work on once I feel like I'm good enough. Bruh, you've been drawing for three, four years. I've been drawing for one year. How do I have more experience in the field than you? Isn't that crazy? So what you need to do is spend most of your time in the fields, okay? The process is very simple. Do the work. <laughs> if you're an illustrator, make an illustration. If you do portraits, draw portraits. If you draw hands, draw hands. If you do manga, draw manga. Just do whatever it is you need to do. Next, pinpoint the weaknesses once you are done with the work. So me, 
Here's a list of the weaknesses I had from Silent Manga Audition. I've now identified them. Next, pick one of them and put it in the system. For me, it was hands. And once you're done with that, once you've reached 100 points, you're done. Either pick a new weakness and do that, or just start the process over. Make another one. Make another manga, illustration, whatever. Just make another one. Find a new weakness. That's it. Now, here are some tips and some things that I want you to keep in mind as you are doing this. First things first, don't do 100 a day. Like, come on, man. Like, you might get tempted to, right? Like, if you're like, man, I've been doing these heads, boy. I'm doing great, right? You don't want to overload yourself because if you do 100 today and then you do zero tomorrow, you're going to forget everything. So I'm not saying, oh, just do 10 a day because you can do as much as you want. I did like five today. But you want to make sure that once you are done with the 100 that you're still practicing every day. So I did just say don't do 100 a day. But if you want to do 100, that's fine. But just make sure that you keep doing it. Don't just do 100 and then stop. Okay, I'm not I'm not going to not ever draw a hand after I'm done with this. But I'm not going to study it again. <laughs> that's for sure. If I do need to study it again, it's going to be after I've made an entire manga again. And I'm like, okay. I need to restudy. That's the process, okay? Next thing I wanna to touch on is accountability. You already know what I'm gonna say if you watched the last video. I made a channel in my Discord, it's called 100, underneath the manga section. So as soon as you join, get the manga roll, and you can see it in there. You will see my post. You'll probably see other posts from other people that join. And we just do this to keep ourselves motivated. We can see other people working on things, and that helps you work on things. Like I've heard people who have been motivated through other people and that's how they got their projects done. That's happened to me as well. So join my Discord if you wanna be a part of this. If you wanna see me do it, just join up, participate. But really, you don't have to. <laughs> I said this in the last video and I'll say it here again, but it really is up to you. I could sit here all day and tell you this is the best system ever, like this is how like I'm gonna get better at drawing and stuff, but you could just watch this whole video, like however long it is, and then just go and watch another video, or three videos, four videos, right? And do no drawing. Like how, how often do you do that? <laughs> the thing about that is it's like, you never feel good anyways. As soon as you're done having fun, doing those things and it's time to draw, you're still faced with the reality that you hate your art. <laughs> like you've probably heard the advice that a lot of like wishy, I'm not gonna hate, but a lot of wishy-washy like artists, especially artists that are way better than you, they always tell you, oh, don't compare to anyone else, do your own thing, right? But guess what? That advice doesn't actually work. Because if it did, how come when you get on Instagram and you see artwork like this, you're pissed off? You're like, dang, I really do suck. It's a reminder and it feels the worst. Stop listening to that advice, guys. I didn't come on YouTube to tell you guys, oh yeah, like just do whatever you want, guys. Look, because guys, I've done that. <laughs> I've literally listened to all the same advice you probably have about, yeah, just do uh, that, right? But it just doesn't work. Like, I look at my art and I hate it. Now what? So, as hard as it might be to swallow your pride and just be like, yeah, I suck at hands, I suck at shadows, I suck at anatomy. As hard as it would be to look your art in the eyes and be like, dang, I suck, like I wanna fix this. You wanna know what hurts worse than that? <laughs> it's the feeling you get when you know you should be doing something and you don't. That's it.